afternoon, everybody. This is Tracy Wells again from Farmers Insurance here in Grayson, Georgia, with another episode of Insurance 101 with our special guest, Corey Smith of Total Pro Roofing. Hey. Thanks for coming in. Um, the reason I wanted to make sure I had a really good, uh, reputable roofing company out there is because on the insurance side, we see too many people that are being taken advantage of by the guy that we say is a, has a truck and a ladder. Right. They do right. terrible work and the work can't really be warranted. So kind of tell, uh, the, Tell the audience basically where what separates you from the regular roofer out there. Okay. Well, there's there's a set of several different things. Um, in the state of Georgia, you are not required to have any kind of a license to to do roofing, so to speak. Um, anybody with a business license and a construction background can do roofing. Um, we have a voluntary certification uh, through the NRCA which is nationally recognized, which allows us to do any kind of roofing imaginable, commercial roofing, residential roofing, steep slope, low slope, metal roofing, anything you can think of in the roofing world, we are able to do. And the, the biggest thing about that is it's voluntary. Mm -hmm. You know, we're not required to have that, but mm -hmm. that's something that we wanted to have to kind of set us apart from anybody in the state. Okay. And I'm sure there are other companies that have that, but that's something we're really proud of. Okay. Well, that, that's one of the reasons that when we first met and you were telling me about that, that's when I was pretty interested in bringing you over here to get a video done. Now, can you tell me, and um, this happens a lot where, you know, people, I guess they just don't take, they don't pay attention to their roof and it, it's wear and tear. And then sometimes they'll come to the insurance company expecting us to replace the roof because mm -hmm. it's wear and tear. What kind of um, mm -hmm. advice can you give people, you know, for proper maintenance? Well, I always recommend routine roof inspections. Mm -hmm. I, it, here in Georgia, everybody knows how crazy the weather is mm -hmm. from usually the end of February until the beginning of November, the weather is just completely unpredictable. Mm -hmm. I recommend getting your roof inspected twice a year. Twice? Twice. Wow. I do. Okay. I do. Because in that period of time, there's no telling how many storms we could have. Mm -hmm. um, routine maintenance includes things like inspecting for storm damage, inspecting all of your pipe boots, exhaust vents, mm -hmm. making sure they're nailed down properly, um, making sure all of your flashing is sealed and there's no cracks in it. Because mm -hmm. a lot of leaks can come from stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, chimney flashing is a big one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A lot of times people will have a leak and it'll be around the chimney and the, the flashing having pulled away from the chimney or the any kind of NP1 sealant that mm -hmm. you might have used mm -hmm. to seal the flashing could have cracked and it's just notorious for leaking. Okay. I have seen a few uh, claims recently that was because of the chimney mm -hmm. flashing. Yeah. So that doesn't surprise me yeah. on that. Yeah. So, um, what do you normally see uh, as far as like damage that, we, you know, when you get up on the roof, is it is it more wind damage or hail damage or is it like 50-50? It, it honestly depends on the kind of roof. On a, on a three tab roof, um, wind damage is usually what we see. But that's because it's wind rated for 65, 75 mile an hour winds. Okay. Now that's not uncommon in mm -hmm. the state of Georgia. I mean, from January 11th until very recently, we've had several of those storms throughout the state. Mm -hmm. And shingles just break away from the sealant and start flopping around. Okay. And, and most insurance companies, including you guys, treat that the same as a shingle not even being there. Because mm -hmm. at that point, it's water shedding ability has been compromised. Right. Now, when you get on something like an architectural type roof or some kind of specialty shingle, mm -hmm. wind damage isn't real prevalent. Mm -hmm. They're rated for usually 130 mile an hour and up okay. wind wise. So if you have 130 mile an hour winds, you, you have more to worry about than more, your shingles. That's more of a hurricane or yeah, a, yeah, I don't know what category, <laughs> but that's what, what we exactly can have. Exactly. And, and on roofs with shingles like that, you're primarily looking for some kind of hail damage. Okay. Hail damage can look 
several different ways. The mm -hmm. first thing that you want to look at if you're inspecting for hail damage is dings in the soft metals mm -hmm. that are on the roof. Okay. Gutters, downspouts, mm -hmm. anything of that nature. The caps for exhaust vents, they'll have dings in them. Depending on the size of the hail, they may mm -hmm. have big dings in them. Okay. That is the number one thing we look for okay. if we're inspecting for hail first. Okay. All right. And can you tell me, I, I see, um, or I've heard the term, you know, the brittle test. I have a little bit of understanding of it, but can you explain a little bit about yes. how the brittle test works? Well, first, let me say I am certified through Hague Engineering. That's the engineering governing body of roofing. Hague Engineering does not recognize a brittle test. They don't. Okay. They do not. They do not. But essentially what a brittle test is, is it's like you're performing a repair mm -hmm. on a roof. You would take the shingle above the shingle that's damaged mm -hmm. and you would raise it up to where you could hammer a nail in 90 degrees. Mm -hmm. You lay that shingle back down, mm -hmm. if it has been broken mm -hmm. or creased in mm -hmm. any way, mm -hmm. then it's deemed not repairable. Gotcha. That is a brittle test. Okay. And can you explain, a lot of times there's misunderstandings on the mm -hmm. claim side when you have a roof that's older and there's been a lot of wear and tear and then maybe a storm comes through at that point and mm -hmm. they're thinking, okay, I should not have to pay anything outside the, the deductible, but they end up having to pay a little bit more because of depreciation. And right. Like, right? The, the, do you see that happen often? I do. It's not as common as you would think. Um, when you have an older roof, it's going to be a whole lot harder to repair. Now, I don't want to say that people are being negligent, mm -hmm. but, but when you have a roof that's reached 25, 26, 27 years of age, and you haven't done any kind of routine maintenance or inspections on that roof, then you have no idea what's going on up there. There could be any number of things contributing to your roof failing. That's why we recommend routine inspections. Right. So, you know, when, when an insurance adjuster comes out there and gets on your roof and sees cracked pipe boots, chimney flashing that's been pulled away, you know, shingles that are that are cracking and, and failing, whether it be due to storm damage, improper installation, you know, product malfunction, whatever, mm -hmm. you know, that, that's something you could have known a whole lot earlier. Right. So a, a lot of times people are disappointed when we <laughs> come back down and, and they're like, you know, this is this is something that you should have been maintaining years before. <laughs> It's it's a touchy situation yeah. sometimes. Okay. Yeah. I and then I end up getting yelled at on the back end <laughs> sometimes too. But hey, it is what it is. Um, hey, I I know you brought some roof um, yes shingles here, and can you explain basically what we have mm -hmm. here? We are a certainty company, which is right up there in the top right corner, and this is our Landmark Pro Designer Shingle Board. These are our architectural shingles. Um, they are rated for 130 mile an hour winds, which is quite a bit. Yeah. Um, this is a big one right here. We are warrantied for 15 years against any kind of streaking, which is due to algae buildup on your roof. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that because I it's pretty common when I'm driving around and I'll yeah. see that. And I always wondered what that, what the origin of that was from. Well, this is Georgia and we have pine trees everywhere. Right. Anybody that has a house surrounded by a lot of trees, all that debris that's constantly falling on your roof, mm -hmm. plus the moisture in the air, mm -hmm. leads to algae buildup. That's what the streaking actually gotcha. is. Okay. This shingle right here has a higher copper content, which allows us to be able to offer a 15 year warranty against streaking. Now, the good thing about certainty is if this shingle right here starts streaking any time before 15 years, certainty will come out and try to clean it. If it doesn't clean it, certainty will replace it. Nice. Mm -hmm. And it also comes with our, our 10 year sure start protection warranty. You can buy a lot greater warranty through certainty. Mm -hmm. um, there's different levels. It just it depends on what you want to spend more or less, but they offer superior warranties for the industry that they're in. Okay. 
All right. Well, that's some good information there. I, I mean, I learned something yeah. that, about the algae. I saw it but didn't know what it was and what the origin was. Yeah. And I appreciate that. Um, but uh, thanks for coming by today. I really appreciate it. It was some good uh, thanks, information. And Corey, can you tell the audience uh, how they can get a hold of you? Yes, I'm with Total Pro Roofing. We are located here in Grayson, Georgia, off of Grayson Industrial Parkway. Uh, you can reach us at 770-624-1009, and my extension is 707. Okay, and we'd like you uh, to like, share, and subscribe this video. And if you uh, have already uh, liked it, please hit the button below, and that way you'll be notified when we drop new videos. Thanks for watching.